Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another Train Sim World 3 video. Today we are having a look at the brand new East Midlands Main Line, or the Midland Main Line with East Midlands trains. Uh, and we're going to be driving this fantastic 158. It has to be said, it looks absolutely brilliant. Now, uh, I am doing a live stream tonight, so for those Joe Plus members uh, that are watching this now, you will actually see this later. But for everyone else, this will be out after the stream so it's a bit of a weird one really isn't it uh, we do actually need to you know i'm too busy introducing the video i've not actually set the train up there we go lock the lock the uh, the doors there there we go uh, and we've got the day headlights on we're two alpha one four as a service we're operating today right there we go are we are we in forward are we i'm, I'm not sure yes we are right okay and uh, one thing that i have noticed i think that these are armstrong powerhouse sounds which is obviously uh, where we want to be. Now this particular route costs you £29.99, you're going to get a VP185 HST with some Mark III coaches and you're going to get the 158. It sounds amazing and if there's one thing uh, that we have come to expect from Armstrong Powerhouse, it's amazing sounds. I've not actually read any sort of literature that says these are Armstrong Powerhouse sounds, but I mean they... They, they just are. I'm absolutely 100% convinced that they are. Please, if they're not, feel free to correct me. But, I mean, it just... Yeah, it's absolutely the Cummins Enhancement Pack, isn't it? Uh, it would have been nice. Perhaps I'm asking a little bit much here. But it would have been nice uh, to have had maybe Perkins as well. Because East Midlands do have Perkins units. Uh, however, again, it's not a uh, it's not a deal breaker for me, is that... There's a nice delay as well when you accelerate uh, between the engines spooling up and you don't just go straight away. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with this. The cab looks a little bit weird, like it's a little bit, um, it's like the contrast is a little bit high. But again, that could just be because it's trains in world, everything is sort of a bit more, what's the word? It's like saturated, isn't it, in trains in world uh, 3 which is something that you don't get on uh, on Train Sim Classic. But yeah, I, I'm absolutely convinced by this. I think the unit is a delight to drive. And of course, the 158 is one of my favourite units of all time. Uh, my favourite DMUs anyway. I think second to the 185, but I don't think we're going to be seeing a 185 for quite a while in Train Sim, uh, Train Sim World. Look at that. Off we go. Oh, we've driven 15.8 miles. Wouldn't it be better if it was 158 miles? Surely that's bit more of a challenge isn't it maybe there is that challenge as well uh, I never actually said where we were going did I uh, we are on a Matlock service so we're going to go in Beeston, Attenborough, Long Eaton, Spondon and Derby the whole route's approximately half an hour in length this particular journey and if we have a look in the uh, in the map you see we've got uh, Nottingham up here Derby down here and it goes all the way down to Leicester in the south so uh, you do get quite a bit for your money Again, there's 158s, HSTs, so yeah, there's also a link in the video description, so do make sure that you uh, that you check that out if you wish to go and get this. Doesn't it just, it, it's, it's pretty, it's really nice, it's really, really nice, it's, it's just a really good looking, well the 158's a great looking unit anyway, whoops. Look at that, look at that, I, I, it's so screenshot worthy, it really is. The problem I've got is that I have um, my vigilance pedal this one here uh, I have that connected to uh, it's also all done on the Q key as is the AWS so whenever you cancel the AWS it, it beeps you can probably change that I mean in Train Sim Classic it's E for the uh, for the vigilance isn't it uh, whereas if I press E we're gonna end up standing up the whole thing will end in disaster uh, so you know yeah it's, it's one of them I could really go around doing all the key bindings but who's got the time uh, one thing I have noticed as well on this, uh, it seems to have remembered my settings. Most of the time when you buy new routes on Train Sim, uh, Train Sim World, you get the, the coloured stop markers and it puts them on by default. Whereas this, they're not on. So I'm like, oh, lovely, happy days. Uh, functionality in terms of the cab, you get this nice little East Midlands Trains uh, destination codes. You go and try and put them in. Nothing. This is not functional, which is a shame given that you know they, they added this little detail. I, I would have really liked that as well. This is the proper Voltron. Uh, there you go. Oh, maybe they didn't get it because it's Vectron. It's a Voltron in real life. Uh, but the font 
is atrocious. That's absolutely nothing. Uh, like I realise it's probably quite loud. Uh, but yeah, that's absolutely... I'm going to go sailing through Beeston. Christ alive. Too busy chatting. Oh, come on, please make sure you stop. <laughs> oh, it's the height of professionalism, isn't it? As always, nothing changes. Move that out of the way. Oh, I think we're going to stop. No need to panic, everybody. Everybody's been thrown. The, the last week trolley's gone sailing down the aisles, bless her. That's better. So this is our first stop, Beeston, uh, which is on this line here. I always have to... Um, kind of remind myself, because whenever I drive out of Nottingham, usually on Train Sim Classic, on the Just Trains Midland Main Line, it's usually towards Sheffield, up the, um, up the Eowash Valley Line. Oh, hang on, come on, stop, 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 there we go. And uh, I think you have to open the doors by doing that. There's no guard operation. That would be nice. I like that banging sound as the doors open. They go with the right wallop, don't they? Uh, right, hang on. Let's just put it in neutral. Oh, it's going to start screaming others. Never mind. You do also have the functionality of the guard panel. Uh, you can key in. You can, you can do all this. The local door is open. I, I don't know why, because the guard's not here. I'll just ignore that. Uh, we'll, we'll shut that. I don't know how functional that is, if you can actually work the train with it. Uh, I've not tried. But yeah, in terms of functionality as well, this obviously isn't functional. But you can turn the GSMR on, which is nice. Uh, 2 alpha 14, it has your head code. You can press contact signaller. And then you get the, you know, so if you press that button there, that does work on there. So that's nice. Uh, we, what else have we got? We've got the cancel, the tick. We can't actually dial anybody, but you can... Perform a test. Uh, these two buttons don't work here. Uh, but again, for a, for a standard GSMR, I mean, how many things on trend? How many times on Trend Sim Classic did you not get a GSMR? So that's I'm impressed with that. DRA, yeah, functional. Don't know if it works, mine. But uh, let's shut the doors. I know it's a bit early. Uh, you've got the couple button. Don't know if you need to press it. Sander, you know, that doesn't work. I don't. I don't know. Because some of these, obviously, don't forget, are not buttons, they're just lights. Off we go. Headlamp warning. You can do engine stop. Let's not press that. Wipers. I mean, that's the fast wiper. I don't believe that. From working these... Oh, there's an HST coming. Yeah, I, I think the fast wiper needs to be faster. Give them a wave. I have seen some quite negative reviews about the HST. Um, I've not driven it yet, truth be known. We'll do that tonight, slash we'll have already done that last night, or the night before, whenever you're watching this. I guess you could be watching this a year in front, couldn't you? But we'll uh, we'll, we'll do all that on the stream. Uh, what else have we got? We've got, uh, I mean, everything else. As a standard unit, I'm, I'm fairly happy with this. I really am. Uh, we've got... Obviously, the, the outside is a little bit disappointing. The instrument lights, there's there's absolutely no difference between them being on or off. I'm not convinced that that works. I mean, the switch works. What else have we got? We've got a destination indicator. The demisters don't work. Compressor speed up. You can flick the switch on. Now, if we do that, uh, the engines will rev their knackers off. Uh, crew lights. What's that? Is, does that work? Okay, yeah, it appears. Tell you what, we'll... Yeah, they do work. Candles in jam jars springs to mind. Cab light, that all seems to work. So that that is good. All right, where are we stopping next? Attenborough. And of course, the uh, the LEDs on the front there, this is... Uh, it's like... It's not a facelifted unit, is it? Because the Scott Rail ones uh, were facelifted. But East Midlands did replace all the, uh, all the headlights with LEDs on there. So it's... It's a really, really... I'm, I'm happy. I'm sold. I can happily pootle up and down on this. Trains in World... Oh, hang on. What am I doing there? I uh, realise you can't see that. I was just clicking off. Right, why is me? There we go. Come on. Break. I accidentally uh, pressed the Windows key and ended up tabbing out, so... Uh, <laughs> nothing was working all of a sudden. It's not what you need when you're coming up to a railway station, is it? Yeah, uh, Trentham World for me is a winner uh, over Trentham Classic. 
in the sense. I realise some of you will be like, what? How could you possibly say that? Trentum Classic is infinitely better. I like the fact that on this, I can get up and walk around. I love that. It's a really nice uh, mm. kind of thing that you can just... Oh, listen to that that bang. As the door's open, I love it. Um, you know, it's a winner for me that I can get up and walk around. Uh, apparently, yeah, this is a problem. They get on and stand there, so now I cannot exit the cab uh, rather than going and sitting down. Look, madam, look, go, go through there. Go and sit down. I like how the screens work as well inside. That's quite nice. Although, on the one that I was driving earlier, it didn't work, so I'm, I'm still not quite sure as to, you know, <laughs> as to whether it works or whether it doesn't, but uh, we'll see. Oh, hang on. There we go. If we, uh, if we flick outside, look at that. Got the nice uh, East Midlands Trent interior as well. It's, I'm happy with it. I, I, I've said that a few times, haven't I? But um, it really looks awesome. Now, I don't really know the route too well. That is another thing uh, that you've got to bear in mind. I have never worked a train over this route. I've not really travelled over this route, to be honest with you. I'm, you know, there's a couple of people that are locals uh, that I've seen. The Steam reviews are mostly negative. Uh, apparently, the route is lacking. The stations are lacking. I've had a little wander around Derby Station. I did find it quite disappointing. There wasn't a lot of detail, a lot of depth there. But the developer has said that they've taken on board, you know, I mean it only came out yesterday, they, you know, they've said they've had a look through people's criticisms and they aim to improve. So that's really, really good uh, that the, the developer hasn't just sort of gone, yeah, well that's the route, nothing's been changed, we think it's awesome. You know, they seem happy to take on criticisms and comments, which is, is really good. Skyhook Games, of course, are the, uh, are the people. They should continue to develop routes with 158s. They absolutely should, because this 158's brilliant. I'd happily sit and pootle up and down in this. Again, I don't know about the HST. I can't say about that. But, uh, you know, the, the actual 158 is awesome. It has the Joe seal of approval, let's put it that way. And again, if you're not from the area, and you don't know the local area too well, it's a perfectly enjoyable route to drive. You know, you look over there and see trees with absolutely no grass at all. Okay, yeah, I see what people are meaning. There's, uh, you see what I mean with the beep? But yeah, okay, I, I get that. You look over there, there's, there's, you know, we could do with a bit more, just a bit more clutter just to sort of break it up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But if you're not from the local area, if you're driving it just looking forward, it's, it's decent. You know I'm the first one to kick off about Dovetail Games, and I mean I guess it wasn't Dovetail that developed it, but they published it, so you know they they have a say, don't they? You know I, I I'm the first one to kick off, but I'm I don't really have a bad word to say about this product. Okay, perhaps twenty nine ninety nine is a little bit expensive. Perhaps it is. Right, so we've got the feather off to the right. Yeah, you see, every time you cancel that, you get the, the annoying beep. I mean, you can change your, your keybinds, can't you? Uh, I have noticed a couple of the um, the junction doodars are not correct. Uh, the, the speed limiters. I'm sure that's not the correct font either, uh, which I, I don't know. Maybe it's different down here, but... The, it just seems a little bit small, doesn't it, in the circle? Right, so we're going to have to slow down. So if we go around to the left here, we go down towards Leicester. We'll just take it nice and steady. We're probably waiting for some sort of Derby to London or London to Derby service. Uh, another thing, the London services don't say they're going to London on any of the PIS screens. They, uh, they all say Leicester, uh, whereas the northbound services do say Sheffield on them. So it's a bit of an odd one, is that, that they've, uh, they've, they've had them going further towards Sheffield, but they've not, uh, they've not put the London bounds going to London. Just take it nice and steady round here. Well, uh, oh, hang on, there we go. 
that doesn't sound quite right when you uh, when you when you go to notch three. Everything else sounds pretty decent. I'm on ten miles an hour. Oh, is it approach controlled? Maybe this signal. You're actually having a laugh. Ten miles an hour—that's ludicrous. There is a lot of flange <laughs> going round this corner. A lot of flange. Right, there's the ten. Well, there's a ten mile an hour sign just sort of in the middle of. What's that? What's it doing there? That is of no use to anybody, really, is it? And I don't think it would go to 10 mile an hour on the junction. Yeah, I, I think that needs a bit of work. It probably goes to 10 mile an hour about here. I, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Why would the 10 mile an hour sign be in there? Oh, dear. Okay, yeah, there's a couple of little things. I did say about the speed limiter, though, didn't I? Uh, there was one where it went to 40 between uh, Nottingham and Leicester when you, when you join on the main line. Uh, when it goes to 40, the speed sign says 25, even though you go to 40. Come on, full steam ahead now. Yeah, these don't... Oh, hang on. Wait, where are we going? These don't seem to be in very... There's a lot of signage about... It, it sort of feels a bit... Yeah, it's an unusual one, isn't it? There seems to be a lot of railway signs very close to each other. Again, I've, I've not really seen anything like that. Maybe it is like that, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know the route. Does it get louder if I open the window? Yes, it does. What about that one? Okay, you get a nice uh, a nice wind noise there. That's that's good. Get that shot. Blowing me hair all over the place. Long Eaton, next stop. Why have I heard of Long Eaton? Why might I have heard of that? I'm not sure. What what trains stop at Long Eaton? East Midlands trains, obviously. What's this? Matlock? Oh yeah, that's where we're going. But obviously we're taking the train as far as Derby, aren't we? And we're running early as well. Lovely. Come on, don't overshoot. You're doing well. Neutral. Brilliant. There's also a little bit of a delay as well on um, when you click on locked doors, almost as if there is a guard. I don't know if that's intentional or accidental, but as if there is a guard that's sort of opened their local door and then released doors, it does take a bit of time for the, the banging noise of the door release. Again, Maybe they thought about that, maybe they didn't. I don't know. I wonder why the HSTs can do 100 and we can only do 80. Hmm. Usually it's sort of like freight at the top ones. And uh, and apparently the slower speed is always at the top. So in the event of a lot of snow, and I'm really, really hoping that whoever told me this wasn't lying to me. Uh, I say whoever told me this, it was <laughs> in the training school at work. Um, so, you know, you'd like to think it'd be true, but, um, yeah, um, we were told that the, the slower speed is always at the top, so that if the snow that covers the bottom sign, it wouldn't be the higher speed, that, you know, the lower speed is, I mean, if the snow was that high, they probably wouldn't be running any trains anyway, because, you know, you wouldn't be able to see the track, would you, but, uh, you know, so that if the snow covered it, that, that that's, I mean, it makes sense in theory. You probably sat there thinking that is the biggest load of nonsense I've ever heard in my life, but uh, I would like to think that was true. It's a nice thing, isn't it, that? It's, it's lovely. Where actually are we? Are we uh, oh, right, so we're just after the junction. We've got this nice long run down to Derby, and of course we go past uh, the depot. Is it Etches Park, or is that Nottingham? There's one of them. It's got both, uh, both depot bits in. <laughs> Pop it in forward. Come on, off we go. I don't think it revs enough. Oh, there's another 158 coming the other way here. Give him a wave. Ah, so... HST 100, but we can now do 100. 
Right, okay. Is that exactly what that sign says? Or can sprinters... I know that if it's a sprinter, like down the Hope Valley, it says SP. Obviously, 185s, with them not being sprinters, can't do 100 mile an hour uh, down the Hope Valley. I mean, sprinters can't do 100 mile an hour down the Hope Valley, can they? They can do 90. <laughs> well, when they've not got a 156 on the back, anyway. But yeah, usually it says SP. You'd, you'd sort of imagine that that would be like a freight thing, maybe? For the 80. But then again, can any freight do 80? I don't think they can. It's a class, is it a class 4 that can do 60 and a class 6 that can do 75? Or the other way around? I can never remember. Where are we stopping next? Spondon, 4.8 miles. You get a nice run sound as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm convinced that it's Armstrong Powerhouse sounds, isn't it? it? It absolutely is. I mean, of course, don't forget that when they did the Huddersfield line, when Dovetail brought out the Huddersfield line, you got the Regional Railways 158 with the Armstrong Powerhouse sounds, so they might have bought a license to use the sounds. And what's happening to the windscreen? Is that meant to be rain? Some sort of weird reflection. I feel like I've sort of got a bit of a cataract or a migraine coming on. What's, what's this? Is it just the sun? The, re the reflection of the sun that happens to be in blobs? I don't know. It's very bizarre, whatever it is. It's making me feel a bit funny. Again, sort of bare feel. Uh, that's not too bad. There's sort of patches of grass. It's not the worst. Of course, there is a big elephant in the room that we're missing here, the Class 222. Uh, a lot of people have voiced their displeasure at the fact that there's no Class 222. I mean, you can't have everything, can you? You can't have all the... Uh, I mean, I like the fact they've given you more than one. It's a typical, uh, typical trick on train simulators to just provide one type of traction on a route. Speak of the Devil, HST coming past. There's absolutely nothing to say, though, that the 222 won't be a future DLC. And if it is, brilliant, bring it on. In East Midlands trains, then you'll have the full set, pretty much. Okay, maybe a 156. But, uh, but yeah, it, it's good. Don't forget as well, I mean, I very rarely use uh, South Eastern High Speed, to be honest with you. I, I very rarely use it. It's just not for me. Uh, really. It's not the sort of route I particularly enjoy driving. That's not saying it's a bad route, but um, yeah. Oh, what happens if I put this down? Does that stop? Ah, oh, there we go. Brilliant. A drastic improvement. <laughs> no, if, if you buy this, then South Eastern High Speed at London St Pancras, you will have HSTs coming in and out of London. So they've added that in as well. So that's quite nice. I like that. We're nearly up to full pelt, 90 miles an hour. I wonder if we'll get to 90 before Spondon. I don't think we will. No, we're not going to get there, are we? I think I'm going to start breaking it about a mile. Maybe? Yeah, that, that sounds about right, doesn't it? One mile, 85 mile an hour. Bob it in, uh, there we go. Bob it in notch one. Or step one, sorry, step one braking. We'll just have a nice steady, uh, steady, steady stop, hopefully. We won't need too much braking. Because I've actually paid attention this time to uh, <laughs> to how far we've got to run. A bit of step two. There we go. Now, how long's the platform on this? Is it quite a lengthy platform? It doesn't look like it. I think the reason I've heard of Long Eaton, some of the Express London stop at, uh, at Long Eaton, don't they? Not all of them do, because we've definitely been on uh, on a train up from Loughborough that stops at Long Eaton.
Okay, you're perhaps going a little bit slow there, Joe. Never mind. You go past the signal, look. The signal there. That's bizarre. I don't think you'd pull all the way down here, would you? I don't reckon you would, you know. I think that at, uh, at Spondon you would stop here and this bit of platform would just be unused. What about this here? This is something I can... Oh, that's something I can, I can do, but given that they've stood there and not moved... Why is nobody walking away from the train? Okay, that's an issue. Because I could get out and go and sort that, couldn't I? But uh, I have a feeling you're not going to let me. Right, let's uh, let's watch it go. Okay, the door animation's half decent. Yeah, those sounds on the outside could do with a tiny bit of work. It's alright from notch 3 to uh, notch 5. And up to notch 7. That's that's perfectly acceptable, I'd say. I think the horn's a bit, uh, a bit off there, but yeah, I'm perfectly happy with that. Oh, that font, it's absolutely rancid, isn't it? Terrible. Yeah, it's just that idle to notch three sound that just just needs a little bit of tweaking, I think. You know, just just a little bit. going next Derby Derby station platform 3b I actually started uh, a, a free roam at about 10 o'clock in the morning down at Derby just to check it out I mean it was uh, when was it it was three o'clock in the morning I'd just got in from a late shift and uh, this had just come out so I was like oh come on let's just you know I'll just unwind for half an hour have a quick look at uh, have a quick look at the room as you do at three o'clock in the morning and uh, <laughs> I was having a look around Derby at 10am and the station was empty. Uh, obviously, at Derby you've got cross-country services. Am I thinking Derby or am I thinking Nottingham? Yeah, I'm absolutely certain I've seen cross-country uh, 170s at Derby. Oh, hang on, let's have a bit of automa uh, automatic braking. Just, just braking will do. Yeah, there was there was nothing there because obviously you've got the cross country services, you've got all the East Midlands trains that are going here, there, and everywhere. Uh, you've got the London services coming in and out. You've got cross country. Uh, why is it not? Why is AWS forced a penalty? It didn't. I cancelled it. I can see that this is still here. Why has that happened? Have we? Is it because I'm going too fast up to a red? I mean, this. Oh, it is a brake demand, right? Okay. I I feel like I'm not sure what happened there. Is it? Does TPWS actually work on this? Shall we? Yeah. We'll. Uh, yeah. How do you cancel it? Any guesses? Something about uh, reset AWS and wait until penalty duration time penalty duration times out. Oh right, 
Right, yeah. I, I'm sure that's some sort of bug, is it not? Because it worked when I pressed that, but I, d I did press Q. Bizarre. Did I do that wrong? Let me know in the comments. Am I, am I going mental here, or did I genuinely do that wrong? I'm not sure. It worked that time. No, don't open the doors, whatever you do. What's this? Is this a Great Western coach? Brilliant. Great Western Mark 3s. Why are they there? Who knows? Got 158s over there split in half. Excellent. We've got the uh, the marker lights there, so we'll uh, we'll just go a bit quicker. Not marker lights, ground position lights that are up in the air, so just position lights. And we're actually cleared into Derby Station, aren't we? Because the uh, the red signal is further away than the actual station, so that's good. Oh, 25. Let's uh, let's just stick it a cheeky 25. Well, there we go. Coming into Derby, again, there's absolutely no trains in, but we do have some stuff over there, which is quite nice. Half of 158 again. Do they often have half of 158s lying around everywhere? Because, I mean, like, one, okay, I could maybe understand that, but there seems to be a lot of them just sat there on their own. Very bizarre. Oh dear. Right, well, here we are in Derby. I do hope that you enjoyed that video. Let me know in the comments uh, what you thought. If you did enjoy it, do click the like button as well if you enjoyed the video, of course, that is. Uh, and do consider subscribing if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any future uh, Train Sim World episodes. That's saying 1713 on the boards. Oh, this is 649 Matlock. Okay. I was going to say this 1713, this really does not go out for a while, does it? Again, I, I would imagine we'd stop closer to the closer to the, the station. I don't think we'd come all the way down here. Come on, don't go past the red now. Efficiency. There we go. Lovely. Yes! Thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.